Hello all, Casual Kane here. Welcome back to Ghost Watchers. We have the Halloween update of 2022. So we're going to jump, jump straight into Abandoned House on normal difficulty. And I'm just going to go through the new update. So you might have seen there, there was a new modifier screen. I should have showed you that. But basically what it means is there's a new gameplay mechanic that you can turn on or off. Depending if you want to do the current game before the update. Or you want to use the new features. If you do use the new features, you get extra money and experience from it. Wow, <laughs> look at those pumpkins. Um, so each of the maps have had updates as well. I don't know if this is just for Halloween. I'm guessing it is. I'll get to that machine in a little bit. The game seems a little bit laggy. So hopefully it's not too bad. Um... So I'll just go around the van. It seems really laggy. It could just be loading. I hope that's the case. So I'll just go around the van. This sort of stuff you've seen before, but have you noticed that the ghost catcher is actually locked? In this mode, you can't actually use the ghost catcher until you collect the new feature, which is called collecting ectoplasm. Now, in order to collect ectoplasm, you have to use this tool here, which is the collector. In order to see the ectoplasm, you have to identify what the ghost is, and then it'll give you a hint as to what the, the like how you find it. So this is saying that we need the UV light if it is a poltergeist, right? So we will do that at some stage once we identify what the ghost is. Um, there's also a notepad for collecting evidence. That's a new evidence type. Um, and on the outside here, this is on every map now. It is um, a machine where you have to identify the ghost because the ghosts no longer give away what they are. So if you guys remember my previous videos, you could just tell by looking at them which kind of ghost they were. So, so they no longer do that. They now have a generic undefined ghost form which is just like this uh floating uh cloak you'll see it you might see it it's normal though. you might see it and in order to get them out of that and to materialize you have to input the correct um data here if you get it wrong i think you can't win the map my understanding you just have to leave like you fail um so yeah let's start bringing in some stuff and um, we'll drop it in the house. And as I'm doing that, I'll just quickly read out the updates that have come. So there is a brand new map called the um, the church. And from the trailer, it looks a lot like the um, one from Devour. If you guys have ever seen Devour, it's on my channel here. Uh, the outside looks like the one from Devour, so it looks really cool. Uh, there's also two new ghost types. There's a Dream Devourer and a Nun, uh, which is in the rank two. So they will be pretty cool. We still haven't seen the puppet on this channel. For those that remember, we haven't actually come across uh, the puppet. So looking forward to that. Um, yeah, so there's new items that we have to use and go with. Let me just see. I can see any stains straight away. Oh, all good. Normal mode, so we won't drop it if we do get kidnapped. Um, so yeah, you got the ectoplasm developer, which is this thing. Oh wait, it's a, that's a collector. I don't know what the developer is. What's the developer? Uh, I didn't actually go to the training room or anything like that to see what it was. I just jumped straight into a game, guys. Developer. Maybe that makes ectoplasm. Yeah, I should have read that. I don't know if there's a... All guys have this form before the hunters materialize them. Yes, that's, that's basically it. Um, tools. Where is it? Must be at the bottom here. Alright, so the developer. This is a supportive item. Hold it in your hand. Uh, 
place it on the floor so that it comes so that the ectoplasm becomes visible works for any type of ectoplasm. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I'll get to that in a little bit. The collector is just the collector that blobs it in the detector. Uh, this is a supportive subject. Hold it in your hand and, or put it on the floor so that ectoplasm nearby becomes visible. Works for any type. Wait. Which one's cheaper? This one. So why would you use this one if this one's cheaper? I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, there's the new ectoplasm tools. So you got the developer, the collector, the detector, and a notepad. Um, there's a materialization um, feature, which you guys, which I just said with this machine here. We need to actually materialize it before we can um, see what kind of ghost it is. Uh, what else? Added hands? Oh yeah, we have hands. As you guys didn't know, we have hands now. I don't remember that not being a thing. <laughs> but yeah, we now have hands that you guys can see for the tools. I guess that's alright. I, I thought it closed on me for a second. So put all this stuff down. Still bringing in the items. Um, what else have they done? So as you weaken the ghosts, they now go deeper into each of the locations. Um, what else do we need? Action, right? Yeah, I think we can start identifying it. So that, as they get weaker, they go further and further into the house or the map, which means you can't just stand at the front door anymore. Thought I heard it over here. No one likes to stand in that corner there, so we've got to start identifying it now. Um, what's this? Do we have any evidence yet? Where's the... I thought I heard this thing go off. 500 to 1,000. Okay. 500 to 1,000. So we know it's age, basically. I keep thinking this is something. And you notice that you move the TV and stuff. Um... So yeah, we might die, but that's because I spent way too much time explaining the new features. Um, is there anything else I need to mention? They added new tasks. I guess that means secondary tasks. Um, go down to the basement and see if there's any blood stains or footprints. I'm guessing no. Okay. I'm going with the fire salt because the fire salt tends to be a little bit more forgiving. So they've changed the kitchen up over here, which is cool. Um, I'm just starting to get a little bit worried because of how much time I've actually spent in the house. I think the paintings also can become crooked. So this is now the little girl's room. Before it was that generic room. Um, yeah, I don't think we have any ectoplasm. Over here, there's a toy. Is now, I think, the boys' room? And then you have the master bedroom. Um, later on. Oh, okay, so it raises and lowers Voodoo Doll. And it moves side to side. And we have something in a notepad. What does that mean? What does that mean? Alright, hang on. Put that down there. So that's a lot to go through. What else is there? Um, add a new evidence to identify the ghost. Updated some sound effects. And redesigned the school, the house, and the police station. So we're going to go through them and have a look. Now we had... Um, Razor's Root Doll. We had Move Side to Side. We haven't had anything on the radio yet. And then we had... Poodle, skull, human. Is that a human? Uh, let's go with human. Oh, damn it. I, sorry, I accidentally doubled through it. Um, hopefully we don't need that golden bomb. <laughs> 
Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna say human. Oh, it could actually be the nun. Okay. So what else do we need? We need either the radio. So we need the thermometer. Uh, the EMF sensor and yeah, we think it doesn't leave footprints at the moment. I think it's actually active now. So let's go ahead and take some stuff here. So that's the bombs. Crucifix. Wait, the crucifix actually works for both of them. All right, sweet. And I might just throw this. Just to upset it. If we get some interactions and stuff. Okay. So we need this. And we need this. Uh oh. It's attacking. So we shouldn't see its form now, it should just be that generic form. Yeah, that form. Did it work? Okay, three. Got three. Yeah, so we only got three. I don't know if that's enough to go off. Um, maybe. But the crucifix does work. Whoa, I just saw it. I just saw it. Can you speak? Can you talk? Can you say something? Can you hear me? Can you give us a sign? Can you speak? Can you talk? Can you say something? All right, we'll see if it talks on the radio. A little bit. Turn on some of these lights. So the crucifix does work, which is great. We just got to figure out this. And we had EMF three. EMF three. I think the other lights over here. So far, we've only got twenty five. We know it's sort of around. Oops. We're getting minus. Okay, it was like five to five. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So we're getting like five and five, and then I think it was over here. It wasn't really giving us a temperature all that much. This crucifix is going to go very, very shortly. Wait, yeah, so it looks like it's between five and five. Minus, minus five. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's between five and five. All right. Okay. And we have crying. Now follow me outside. I don't think it can on normal. Alright, sweet. So that's, I think, everything. So we had um, between five and five. Oh, it's the nun. Oh, that's so cool. And it's an older, calm nun. Oh, that's so cool. Alright, we got the new ones. How do I, how do, I do this? Oh, well, I can't. oh, it just goes straight from the thing. All right. Is that good? Or was that wrong? But is it materialized now? About to find out. No, it's not materialized. We got it wrong. Does that mean we can't get it right now? It mustn't have been... Three. Wait, what did we get wrong?
So there's either so there might be a footprint. Oh no. Yeah, it might be a there might be a footprint. Alright, let me take a crucifix. Um Where are they? Crucifix, fifty dollars. Alright. We know it works. But let me just go quickly look around the house for a footprint then. Something is up. Damn it. We must have missed a footprint. The only thing I can think of. Alright. I just, I, it's easier for me to drop the items than it is for me to try and switch. It's also being very, very aggressive, like too aggressive at the moment. So the only thing I can think of is that I got the footprint wrong. Maybe not. Oh, there's a pumpkin in the toilet. Not gonna lie. A little bit weird, mate. A little bit weird place to put a pumpkin. Not going to lie. No, we didn't miss a footprint. What did we get wrong then? Maybe, so we must have got one of the attitudes wrong. So that's definitely swaying side to side. That's definitely lifting and closing. And it was crying. 500 to 1,000. Has to be this then. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, it must be, it must be a higher uh, EMF reading then. Two, three, four. Now. Three. I'm sorry, it's only getting three. I'm convinced that it's only three. Alright, so let me... It's been a while since I played this game, so unless it's not a human... Hang on. What would the gallows be between minus 10 and minus 20? Um. Okay, so it can be the gallows as well. The so minus 10 and minus 20. All right, we have to confirm the thermo then. Hmm, this might be a long video, guys. Sorry, it's just me getting back into the swing of things. All right. Minus 10. Where was that? Where did, where did I put it? Minus 15. Alright, so we went up to minus 15 there. That's, yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely higher than... Okay. Oh, it's the gallows. Ah, oh, alright, let's... <laughs> the gallows. Ah. Oh. Okay, so now we can see what it is. All right, so the ectoplasm developer is the holy fire. So we need holy salt and silver bomb. Okay, so which one is the holy salt again? This one. And the silver bomb. Okay, and I can actually see with this torch. All right. 
So let's go and look for the ectoplasm then. Uh, according to the trailer, they look like big blobs of goo. Uh, I need the holy salt. Please. Uh, I pushed the wrong button. Damn it. Wait, I think I still have it though. Yeah, I think I still have it. I pressed the wrong button by accident. Sorry guys, I apologize for that. It's left click to throw. I thought it was it's right click to drop, left click to throw. Oh, he just hangs there. Okay. Let's check the basement. See if there's any ectoplasm down here. Oh, there it is. Okay, so the first one's in the basement. Um, I don't know if we should do that now or just wait until he's actually too weak to sort of chase us around. I think that'll be the best thing to do. Let's just wait until he's like too weak to chase us around. Alright, so next we need the silver bomb and light three candles. So we accidentally used the silver bomb uh, for our protection. Um. $80, man. I don't think I'm going to get this back. <laughs> what were the secondary objective? Correctly identify the ghost first time. I failed that. Open all doors. Take a picture of the notebook on video. Okay. That was easy money. Use the cursed mirror. If I find it. If I find it. Alright, so yeah. Silver, silver bomb and light three candles. All right, let's try and find this cursed mirror then. Okay. Might be in this bathroom, but I don't think I've been here. One cool thing about this difficulty is that, you know, um, yeah, uh, I need protection though. <laughs> Hang on a sec. What else protects us? Mm, gotta keep going with the crucifix. Do these protect? They don't. Okay, we just got to keep going with the crucifix then. Um, they're not that expensive. Okay. The light three candles, and we've got to find the cursed mirror. Let's head upstairs because I think he's hanging out downstairs. And what's good thing about running around with the holy fire is that it will just light the candles anyway. All right, there we go. Uh, use the cross and catch the ghost. Alright, so he should be in a weakened state at this point. Okay. Excellent. So now, what we got to do is because he's completely weakened, we can now go and get the ectoplasm. Right. Um, and use the holy fire. Alright. Now, can we see it without the tool? Like, if I was to go... Okay, that's busted. Is it going to allow me to collect right here? Oh, left the... Harvest. What happened? Wait, where'd it go? It doesn't move. Oh. That was weird. Yeah, so he should be in a completely catchable state now. From my understanding. Why are all the lights like busted? Why are all the lights like busted in this place? Alright. So we're just looking for the ectoplasm. And on. Some of this stuff. Okay, that's busted. Right. Give us some nice, decent light source here. Can't spawn outside, can it? That would suck. Oh, here it is. Alright. Wait, you can attack me? 
Oh, it can attack me while I'm getting the ectoplasm. That kind of sucks. Okay, how am I meant to do this? I don't even know if I have a crucifix at this stage. I'm dead, right? Wait, how are you meant to do that? Okay, well there you go guys, there's a look at the first update. Um, yeah. That's strange. That's really strange, how... You must have to put down some sort of passive protection or something as you do it then. Because I, I didn't have enough time to send it away and collect the ectoplasm. I'll try again. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try again. I think I'll do another round of the abandoned house now that I have a better understanding of the update. Um, and, and see if I can get it next time. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, please keep an eye out for future videos. I'm definitely going to do the abandoned house, the police station, the school. And of course, I'm going to check out the church. So as always, guys, if you enjoyed it, please give the video a like and I'll see you in the next one.